all right you guys welcome welcome back this is for scorpio how are you guys doing we're going to jump into your reading and see what we have for you today i hope everyone is doing very blessed and staying very positive in your deepest darkest time okay it's not easy trust me it's not i know but we have things that's coming towards you okay and I feel it. I feel that form of energy, that message. And I've been feeling it for a while. And a lot of you are experiencing that right now. But it depends on who you are and where you are at this present time. It depends if you have learned the cycle, if you have learned the message in your lesson, or if you have not. Okay. Ooh, something flipped here. What is this about? Have an attitude of gratitude. Okay. Again, it's just like experiencing what you're experiencing and turn it into an, a positive situation and also taking the time to understand and to learn about what you have been through have an attitude of gratitude be thankful that you're still here learning from the angels from the universe because you have something that you need to do for this universe you know you're still teaching others. You're still being there for others. You still have this strong form of energy where the, uni the universe needs to use you. And that's just really being thankful. Thankful that you're here for a purpose, okay? And your ancestors and your angels are, you know, really trying to be there in, in everything that's happening. Trying to be that backbone. Trying to have your back trying to you know just be like yeah we, we're here for you they're they're wishing and hoping that you're going to be successful you know you're going to be on the rock at the end of the day and you're going to be this victory you're going to be this survival this person that survived throughout it all so tell me more live in the sun live your bliss your happiness a lot of you i'm feeling like you might have this energy where you are scared to do what you want, scared to do what's passionate for you in your heart. And a lot of you are living to please others, but the angels are saying it stops here and now. You have to live in the sun. You have to live and take chances and making sure that you're living from what you want. This life is yours, not anyone else's, okay? So go after your dreams and goals, you guys, because I'm seeing regret if you don't. All right. So tell me more for Scorpio in love. Okay. You are never alone. For those of you who feels alone in their relationships, um, just know that you're not. I feel like your ancestors, your angels are guiding you throughout this dark time whatever you are falling into or feeling like you're in just know that they're holding your hands and guiding you through like through it all you know um they can't be there to make the decisions for you but they're going to be in your dreams and your visions you might hear a voice out of nowhere and you think that is just your voice but it's your ancestors and your angels trying to communicate with you okay follow the golden rules continue to be a good person you guys this is what i'm hearing continue to be a good person you're going to be on that rock looking down on your enemies at the end this is what i'm being told here okay for scorpio tell me more about scorpio situation when it comes to love what's going on for scorpio in love wow the devil a lot of you are dealing with the capricorn energy you don't have to be but this person is someone that has a lot of issues okay i feel like this person is thinking about you a lot i don't feel like this person wants to lose you but they have so many things that they need to go through themselves and heal and this person just never took the time to do that. This is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so tell me more about this. I feel like they're stuck into something. They're trying to get out of it. We have the Nine of Swords also showing up here. So I feel like this is 
this relationship is bringing a lot of stress and anxiety like you don't know where this is going you don't know what this is actually about and why you're experiencing this energy okay so this is what i'm seeing here it's like you're dealing with this you're trying to deal with this every day it's a constant thing we have the two of wands also showing up and we also have the five of pentacles in reverse the strength here okay and we have the king of wands in reverse so there's um this immaturity that I'm, I'm seeing you guys this immaturity that i'm seeing that is happening around you someone that is an aries leo or sag or someone that just has this stubborn energy because capricorn is here the devil and also the king of wands in reverse this person has a stubbornness about them like they just don't want to be the one to change things or they feel like they can't it's like this something is missing in within this person when it comes to taking that power and being themselves or making you know important decisions i feel like this person is having a very hard time doing that i'm also seeing the strength here beside the king of um wands you guys this person is feeling like they're scared they're scared to do something they're scared to talk to you there's a huge conflict between you and this person obviously because you know you have the nine of uh swords here you have the two of wands in reverse you have the five of pentacles so much coldness so much you know um feeling like you've been abandoned or used um like this person really just didn't want to be with you there was a decision made here that you know was the wrong one obviously this person made the wrong move um when they're supposed to make this decision to make things better or to make the relationship stronger i feel like this person <sighs> just has this ego issue where they just made things worse this relationship i feel like at this point it's at the end of the rope for you sorry that my um heat is so loud you guys i do have the mic on but damn that was loud um i feel like I feel like you're at the end of the rope with this energy like you just want to give up with this person right now a lot of you are like just finishing up um this relationship you don't feel like there is a point to keep going forward or moving forward you just been treated really badly here where this person was just like closed off or you couldn't reach them you felt like this person didn't appreciate you and you felt like, you know what, this person used you for a lot of money. Like you felt like, damn, you built this person up for some of you. And now you're looking down on this person and damn, you're like wondering like how it feels to be on top. I did this for you. I just did this for you, but I'm not even on top of the hill with you. You made sure to like use me to get where you are today. Wow, so tell me more. There's like no appreciation here. That's what I'm seeing. Thank you, angels. There's no appreci appreciation here in this relationship, like the, at least for this person. And it's not that they don't appreciate it. I'm not trying to stand up for this person, but their personality is pretty clear. It's because of their toxic behavior, the, the way they were raised, the way they were brought up. This is normal. This is normal. This kind of toxic relationship is normal. People fight, people argue, and it's just a healthy thing. They feel like when you don't fight, when you don't argue, something is wrong with that relationship. It got to be some kind of toxic situation or test being brought. And I feel like this person needs to realize, yes, there's tests in a relationship, but you don't cause them. Those tests are brought to the universe, you know? Um, when per se you lost a job or something like that, that's a test to see how you guys are going to go through the form of money that's being changed or more income is coming in. That's a test. How are you going to change? Are you going to change for the positive? Or are you going to remember where you came from? Appreciate the smaller things before you get into the big things. Those are tests from the universe, health wise tests from the universe, you know, but cheating and, and calling each other's names and not appreciating each other. That is 
you and the way your toxic behavior is and it's definitely not healthy that is not a test from the universe you know but this person doesn't see that you know they just see like this is normal because the way they were raised all right tell me more angels all right so we have the queen of cups in reverse okay tell me more we have the seven of cups as well in reverse I feel like this love, whatever this is, you guys, is just, it's just not happening right now with this Queen of Cups in reverse. A lot of manipulation games here because this person is very sensitive and, you know, it's nothing wrong with being sensitive, but this is in a negative way, you know? Everything you say, even if it's a good thing, they might just take it to heart and you have to, like, explain yourself constantly to to this person everything that you say and it's nothing that you're saying that is wrong but this person's person personality is just so wow you know and i feel like you know this person with the seven of cups here again you have so many things going on in this relationship from the devil being in a relationship with their personality being very stuck into this energy this negative toxic energy where this person also i'm just gonna say like the way this person thinks is like they love you in their own way within the devil they do but they're just like really stuck into this toxic behavior okay i don't feel like it's a drug addiction or anything but i feel like this is an addiction the way of the they the way they love the way they think because it is all they know right then you have the five of pentacles here in reverse totally like it's an end to the financial disaster, okay? It's an end to a financial disaster. End to the coldness. End to, you know, this person treating you the way they do because you are choosing to tie this all up. You're choosing to leave this behind. It's like you're learning from this and you're coming back to a healthier space in your life. Now, the conflict here, this person definitely wants to talk to you, but again, with this ego within um, Aries, Leo, or Sag, they're like walking around with this ego, not letting go of it. And it's like controlling them in the devil. This is all about ego, isn't it? The ego. And then you also have this fire sign, which is a stubborn energy. And also in the devil, this horn, the horn that they have with Aries and Capricorn is just like very stubborn energy, you know? So it's just very hard to deal with this person, but the angels are really pushing within them that there is a conflict here and they need to be strong and they need to talk to you. They're afraid of your rejection. This is all about rejection here in the King of Wands in reverse and the strength being here. They're afraid, okay, because they have done so many things to you. So what do they expect? Nothing but nothing but negative negative re respond you know response because they that's what they're used to but you're not used to that so they're judging you beforehand they're judging the outcome beforehand and this is why this person is taking so long but i feel like there's so many more things here where it comes to love where you're not getting that fulfillment with this person um when it comes to love when it comes to appreciation they're taking it way to the head and playing the victim like you are making it hard for them you are putting them in a tough spot you are doing this you know they feel like they're just like playing such a victim game with you you know it's like if you decide to walk away for yourself because this relationship is just too stressful for you which it is in the nine of swords and you're continuing to go through depression you're going to continue to go through anxiety doubting yourself back and forth back and forth because of this queen of cups here in reverse it's like playing mind games within you feel like maybe you need to you know give this person another chance but things are coming to the surface in the seven of cups this person is obviously doing something that they're not supposed to do they need to tell you about it but they're afraid because they're doing something wrong here okay so tell me more wow 
you have the empress coming over <laughs> wow virgo energy you have the ace of pentacles so there's going to be a new beginning for you even abundance a lot of you have fallen into some kind of comfortability with money and you know things i feel like your angels are making sure why am i seeing angel michael making sure that you're protected guided you're feeling stable comfortable like there is nothing that is going to come forth in your life to harm you anymore because that angel is like protecting you you know this is what i'm seeing here okay so tell me more tell me more for scorpio Ooh, that's a lot and we ran out of time scorpio so let me just tell well the angels want me to tell you i'm going to tell you all right so just to see what we see first here so we have the hypherant okay we have the page of swords okay in reverse and then we have the nine of pentacles in reverse so be very careful when it comes to money when it comes to your independence um you know i feel like this person might just be taking a lot from you then we have the ace of swords so this person isn't going to change something about um the change within this relationship and the the span of this relationship this person is remained in the same with the the thoughts the way they think the breakthrough that they need to have it didn't happen the clarity within themselves and to give you that clarity is not going to happen oh i don't see any cards i'm gonna move my cards over here because i'm like why is all my cards over because i want you guys to see the cards too right so all right <clears throat> i'm gonna turn off my heat real quick hold on y'all because i don't want it to turn back on and then it's so loud We have those two cards all right i'm just gonna put them over here then we have you know what let me put them over here we have the page of cups Ooh, the chariot okay that's coming up also wow it's funny how this card is your last card and i'm gonna tell you why right now because this is the sun all right and we talked about that right it says live your bliss the bliss is the sun. Live in your happiness. Do what make you happy. And in the end, this all falls back to the sun. Your bliss. <sighs> okay, so there's an end coming up here. You know, this relationship, I feel like a lot of you are embarrassed um, because of this, you know, situation. And this is why you're making this decision this way. It's like, I'm feeling like, of course, there's some kind of like not following the the golden rule here. And we coming back to the golden rule. Um, jump in steps, not being really old fashioned or um, in order. This is Taurus energy, you know. Um, and also, this is an earth tone energy. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, you know, they're all like really just trustworthy energy in the upright you know not in reverse and something about cutting corners here you know it's not really the way this is ending it's just very sudden this is how i'm feeling here because of this person's energy you're dealing with someone that is definitely coming off jealous very loud very vulgar um acting like they're really just this powerful person making you kind of nervous the way this person is acting but i see that the angels want you to really protect your independence here because that is coming up because this person is like i'm feeling like the energy that i was getting with the five of pentacles where they kind of like shut down and this also is about money issues for those of you that this person just loves to come to you and ask you for help okay and you give it to them but i feel like you're cutting them off now you're trying to tie up those loose ends this person is just not learning they're not doing well 
on their own this is what i'm seeing here so of course they're coming back to apologize look at that apologize to show their affection in the the page of cups you know but at the same time with this chariot in reverse there is no success at the very end they don't want to be successful here they're not making a choice to make you and only you when it comes to love but they're showing some kind of gratitude here with this apology not that this apology is not what they feel at that present time like they're not i'm not saying that this person is not sorry i don't have my mic on me but um i just feel like let me just put this over here this person's energy when it comes to being with you and only you is not what they want you know in the seven of cups yeah they're going through so much and they need to tell you because of course the lies are falling out of control here okay so they need to tell you the truth but i just feel like this person is not ready to make a choice to come towards you in that aspect you know of being successful with you and being with you and only you but i feel like you're going to be choosing self and choosing your happiness and going after what you want because this is the most important thing for you and the nine of swords that we talked about that we saw is something that you can't you know deal with right now but we are so out of time you guys and i just wanted to tell you all the messages that came out here usually this is a 15 minutes read i'm trying to let these videos be that but gosh the angels always have their way with me but anyways love you and i'll see you guys in your next read and i will be doing your I believe your singles read today today's wednesday and um also your bonus so please look out for that um they're gonna be uploaded pretty late yeah you know i started it late tonight so um i hope you guys are just gonna you know bear with me and um wait up for all those videos but see you later scorpio and thank you so much for all your support and everything that you guys have done to the channel you guys are amazing and i will see you guys in your next one bye guys